When it comes to creating videos, especially in the sports creative industry, sound design actually can make or break your videos. Now, I'm not saying I sound design every single video that I create, but I do try to incorporate little sounds here and there just to kind of enhance the project. Now, of course, I don't always fully sound design all my videos because I do have quick turnarounds, so it doesn't give me the opportunity to just sit there and be picky about what I edit. I do increment like little sound effects here and there, or I'll also increment like sound effects within the music. Now, a very common one you've probably seen is the one about a play which is a muffled song effect now of course not just the song is playing a factor in this video but adding a muffled sound effect in this circumstance it kind of gives more attention to what's visually happening and as you can tell i zoomed in i did like a quick zoom with some motion blur and it kind of like slowed down on her for a second while the background music is actually being muffled this just helps draw more focus to the subject that's in the video now of course i wouldn't recommend doing this throughout the entire project because when you do this effect you're kind of drawing focus to that one moment in the video and if you're doing it to multiple moments in the video then it kind of defeats the purpose and kind of pulls away the significance of that one clip now of course there's always a couple different methods that you can use to demonstrate this effect there is one that i like a little bit more and i'm going to show you all that one in a second but the first one is going to be you know if you're trying to do this on multiple different audio clips like i said i would recommend it but you know it's your video your choice whatever so if you're going to be using the same effect on multiple different clips it'll kind of affect them all on this layer like i said this is not the most efficient way to do it because you are you know basically taking up a whole audio clip you know audio track i should say and it's not as easy to keep your timeline organized when you have multiple different layers that are just kind of pointless for one audio clip. So the first thing you want to do is of course just cut where you want the video to stop and end. I kind of did it on beat so it's going to work out a lot better if you do it like off beat. For some reason like transitioning and fading like cross fading into the other audio track doesn't really work for this on the other method. I don't know about this method because you're not really doing that. And this section it might work i just don't know i just know it doesn't work on the second method i'm going to be showing you off. once you have that clip cut out just go ahead and drag the audio layer down to the next track and then you want to go to your fairlight page that was not the fairlight page that was the fusion page once you're in your fairlight page go ahead and go over to your eq tab and double click that and then you're going to see that all these band buttons are highlighted go ahead and disable all of them and go ahead and enable band six. Once that's enabled, go ahead and click and drag six over to your liking. You can adjust this, of course, to however much you want, how little you want. Now, this should be a decent range right here. And then when we go back to the audio track and you play it out, that honestly sounds a lot better than what I did, in my opinion. I could be wrong. That's for y'all to decide. I didn't do this method because, again, it takes up an entire audio track. But let's go ahead and go into the second method, which is a lot easier and a lot more personalized for that one audio clip now like i said this is the method that's going to keep your timeline more compact and not as wide as it could be if you were to do this for multiple different you know different sounds it's going to actually be an effect you don't necessarily have to go to the fairlight page to achieve this one you really just go over to effects and then you go over to your audio effects and then you look for low pass which I am too lazy to actually read all those. So I'm just going to type in low pass and it looks like it's going to be an AU effects instead and click AU low pass and drag it down to the audio clip. And as you can tell, it already basically did what we did in the Fairlight page, but for this one clip. Now, without adjusting it, it's going to sound like this. Now, it's not as muffled as it could be, so I can just drag it, you know, a little bit more and then we play it back. That wasn't bad in my opinion. I, I feel like that one sounded good too. Now, when I was trying to achieve this effect, I actually did not know how to do it. I had one of my coworkers, Kyle, you know, kind of tell me what effect he used to do it. And it works out on DaVinci. He uses Premiere, but DaVinci has a low pass effect too. It obviously works. So again, it's up to you. If you feel like you're going to be doing that effect multiple, multiple times throughout a video, then I would recommend just, you know, making a whole audio track. But if you're just going to do it once, you know, with this sound and maybe with a different one and you want to have them different and like separated, you know, muffled look levels i guess you would say if you want one to sound a little bit more muffled than the other then you can do the low pass and you can tweak each one individually so i hope this video helped i am always looking for more ideas like i said in the last video that i uploaded about how my life has been going now just go ahead and comment down below any effects or any different editing styles that you want me to teach and i would be happy to do that because i am low on content ideas i thought this was going to be you know not an easy channel to create and involve and grow but I 
didn't think it was going to be as hard to just come up with ideas teaching different things so i'm teaching things that i'm learning as i go like i've always done on this channel um i'm pretty sure i've said that before but a lot of things that this channel helps provide is also help for me i'll forget how to do an effect like the text effect where you see the tech the video through the text i couldn't remember how to do it to save my life so i went back and watched my own video just to teach me how to do it in davinci so these videos are not just for y'all, they're also for me, so I don't, you know, constantly forget how to do certain effects. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and like I said, comment, go ahead, share with somebody that's trying to learn Da Vinci, and I need to shave this beard, it's getting kind of itchy. But with that being said, I always forget my lens cap. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. This chair is really squeaky, but I'll catch y'all in the next video.